Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. So now... I'm gonna sell that. I always thought that these games should have, uh, like, gems and whatnot that you could sell. Oh, I have Red Savory. Increases max TP by 10%. Rain has a little bit of TP. Hi, you're beautiful. Lads, try these pickup lines in real work, in real life. It's not the day she called him out on it. That's kind. Of, I didn't actually think. I didn't actually know that existed. I like that. Does he flirt with old grandmas? <laughs> he does flirt with old grandmas. Also, I looked it up. Apparently, this next renovation for the town uh, is 150,000. However, it's apparently also pretty much the last one. So that's, that's good, at the very least. Um... Let's think, what else can I do? We tried going to the Palma Costa Ranch, did we not? We tried that already. And we can't get back into that ranch, that's right. It's still on the map, but it, it's not. You can't go in. <sighs> I wonder, did we ever go back here after... Okay, I was going to say, I didn't know if anything happened here afterwards. But, it just seems, I mean, they literally created this area for the unicorn and that's it. No other use of that area in the entire game. What was out here again? It's so weird, I feel like I'm re-exploring. Oh, this was another ranch that we took down. Was it? No, that was, uh... Oh, gosh. Whatever it was. I feel like we're re-exploring Silveron. I do know of a quest. Oh my god, I'm yawning. That we can only do of, uh, after... After we fight Kratos. Uh, I do know there's a side quest that we can only do then. Oh, ooh. Conversation. Your sword techniques are self-taught, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you could call it the Irving way of fighting. I'm amazed how strong you got all by yourself. What about you? Did you train? Yeah, everyone in the village... Everything is training when I'm in the village. Wait, while well, you're sleeping and eating too? Of course, we can't let our guard down at any time. That's the fate of those who live in the shadows, like us. But you do let your guard down a lot though. Wh what? You always fall into traps. Like you're one to talk. Lloyd. Take a hint, man. Also, I didn't even realize, apparently, it's not a thing in this game. Oh, hello. It's not a thing in this game. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, apparently in the... There's a crappy spin-off game to this game. Or from what I understand, it's not very good. Um, but in that game, you can basically make... You can choose if... Choice? Choose if Lloyd goes out with either Sheena or...
Colette. So, that's interesting. Why don't I get on these? I don't know which one I'd pick. I really don't. That's one more problem. What are you doing? Did you do your homework? What, do we really have to do our homework? I mean, come on. You haven't done it yet? Rain's gonna get mad. Hey, genius. No, Rain would know if you did your homework. It'll be fine. I'll write it down myself. It won't work. I can't make the crazy mistakes you make. You can be a real punk sometimes. Damn. It be like that sometimes, Lloyd. Like, there's actually nothing on that island. Maybe there was supposed to be something there at one point. Who the hell knows? I've, I always wonder that in games. If you come across an island that is mostly empty, I always wonder maybe if there was supposed to be something there at some point. Uh, oh, wait. I already checked this area for Ewan. You know, he didn't find him. He's supposed to be there. I don't know if I just waited too long, but it is what it is. Um, what the hell was that? Oh, that's the rock, the stone for, uh, Noish. I feel bad for Noish. I feel like it doesn't really have a, a use after, after, uh, like, after you get the Riards, why are you, what use do you have for Noish? This is Azalea. Is there anything we could do here now that we're allowed back in? Well, we can flirt with old grannies. See? They actually do give you a lot of stuff. You have to talk to... You have to talk to... That little kid just gave us 237 gold! You have to talk to the little girls? I didn't realize that. I figured that would be a little too creepy. Jeez. Ugh. Ugh, it just doesn't feel right. Can we go back? Don't you tell me no. Let me in there. Oh, that's right. You have to go through the forest, don't you, if you want to. Yeah, why would I do that? Dirk, you have anything for me? I kind of want... I need money. I need a loan. You got a loan for me, Dirk? Lloyd, uh, you look exhausted. What's the matter with you, boy? Hey, Dad. I'm fine. There is no wisdom in pushing yourself too far. Perhaps a little rest is in order. He's right. Stay and catch up with Dirk a while. We'll be waiting in Azalea. Guys... So what happened? Hold on. I don't know, even know where to start. I'm still not really sure any of it was the right thing to do. I'm kinda lost here, Dad. That's just stupid. What do you think you, makes you think you can know what's right? Who are you to decide that? Yeesh, Dad. You did what you thought was the best, right? And that's all that's... Then all that's left is to own it. You've got to live your life. All right. And give us a damn smile, would you? A guy can't concentrate when his boy is down in the dumps. <laughs> right. It's actually kind of cool scene. I guess we got a little caught up talking. Lloyd. Hey, Lloyd. We were just talking about, and we think we're already to ah. Colette, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Just soaked. Here, let me see that. What's going on here? Lloyd? Oh. Oh, uh. Um. Uh, um. Um. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
dead me. <laughs> That's actually kind of, I didn't expect all that. I was I was wondering what was going on. I was a little little scared. It's funny that, uh, it's like, it, I really don't know who I would choose. Because it's, it's obviously Lloyd and Colette have the whole childhood friends thing. But at the same time, um, I almost feel like Sheena and Lloyd would be a better couple. Like, I don't think, like, like, I don't think Sheena and Zelos would work. At all. I think it'd just be weird. But maybe not. I don't know. I guess people probably feel differently. But I think it's pretty obvious, at least for the most part, that the game tries to push Lloyd and Colette, which makes sense. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get. Get over there. <laughs> get on. Get on over there. So, have I gotten this? What the hell? This is just in the middle of nowhere. Why the hell is it there? <laughs> um, have I gotten this one? I have, apparently. I wonder... There's nothing left to do in Mizuho, right? It's funny, I'm kind of like trying to go town by town that I can think of. We can flirt with chicks in Mizuho. Did you... No? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep running around and hoping they give me gold. Oh yeah, we, what happens? Is he like standing around? Like just hanging out? Yeah. Hmm? What is it? What was it you were counting in the Temple of Lightning? Oh, that. Those were the twelve guardians that protect this village. At the time of the Volt Incident, Grandpa gave me three of the guardians. The guardians you used when you were going after Colette were... Yes, those. Every chief uses them protect th to protect the village. I completely forgot about doing that. I didn't even realize I had become a spiritual being, and was looking for the Guardians in order to defeat Volt in Sheena's place. Wow, you really love Sheena. <laughs> I do think it's cool. I do think it's cool that there's all these little things that change, and side cutscenes. I can't believe that the chief was with Volt was with, with Volt was with Volt the whole time. But now the people of Mizuho can finally relax. I'm so happy for you, Sheena. The chief finally woke up. Thanks. Yeah, I'm real happy. I think I may be able to finally like Volt. Sheena, that's wonderful. Overcoming the painful events of your past like that. Oh, stop it. I'm just simple-minded, you know? Yeah, exactly. Sheena's got the brains of, a, of an amoeba. You better shut up before I smack you. Don't say that. Don't say that after you smack me. I won't lie. Won't lie. I personally find the can't take a compliment as a really endearing character trait. I think because I'm kind of the same way, but I find a really endearing character trait for for a guy or a girl, and I think it works really well for Sheena. 
Uh, okay, we've been to Cybac. We've been to Mount Tokyo. I still have to do the advanced... Um, the advanced... Oh no, I wanted to go to Mount Tokyo. Because I know for a fact I missed a side quest. Basically, there was a side quest. Unless, I don't see how it would still happen. But I'll just make sure that it can't. Because I'm 99% sure it can't. Don't give me rice. I don't need rice. Yes, money. Money is what I need. Hand me the money. That is not my house. I keep thinking that's my house. It is not my house. I like how I just completely ripped her from her conversation of... Oh my god. You never come by here anymore. I've been so worried about you. Hey, this girl is the one that dressed as an angel. Why is she with Zelos? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, and Sheena is with him too. I thought I told you people from Mizuho to not approach Zelos. I'm not with him because I want to be. He's always jabbering away obnoxiously. Uh, oh my, as vulgar as ever. You talk like a middle-aged woman. Oh, what? My cute honeys, if you all love me, you have to get along, understand? But Zelos... Okay, okay. Then I'll drop by all of your houses later, so let's split up for now, okay? You understand, right? I only have one body. can't express my love for you all at the same time. Zelos, make sure you keep your promise. I'll be waiting for you. I had heard rumors of the Chosen's debauchery, but... Uh, Duke Bryant, the last time we met, I was six years old. So, how did you hear anything about that? Like that about me? Your reputation precedes you. I didn't have to meet you to hear about your escapades. Even after I went to prison, the guards said that you were quite the man about town. Oh. He can do whatever he wants with whomever he wants, as far as I'm concerned. But I'm tired of putting up with this every time we have to go to Mount Tokyo. Do something! Can't be helped. My little birds flock to my beauty. Then let's cover your face. What? <laughs> that's a... Actually, that's a... Fun... <laughs> yeah, now we won't get those nosy groupies following us around anymore. Uh, too bad no one can see the beauty you're so proud of. Oh, no, no, no. My beauty shines from within and cannot be hidden by a mask. From now on, call the... Me, the mysterious masked handsome warrior Zelos. What is that ugly mask? This is why I can't stand country folk. A woman's love is so shallow. He actually got a Master Swordsman title for that? Really? Oh, masked. I thought it said master. I was like, ah, that seems a little insane. It's funny, I feel like they purposely make the... Chosen, his, an emissary from His Royal Majesty is waiting for you. What? I'm sorry from his majesty, who said he never wants to see my face again? What is it about? Let's listen to what he has to say. Sir Bud is right. Listen, my name is not Bud. I have a message for the Chosen. His majesty is requesting your immediate assistance. Please come to the castle at once. Did something happen? I cannot speak of it here. Princess Hilda's life is on the line. Please aid his majesty. The princess? What do you want to do, Lloyd? I'm a little curious about it. Let's go to the castle. I actually thought this quest would no longer be completable. So I am obviously totally wrong about that. So let's go do this, because this is actually a, I would say, a somewhat involved quest, at least as far as some of the other ones we've been doing right now. 
Oh, I've got another honey here. Hang on. Oh, it's the Wonder Chef. Wait, hand over the ultimate recipe. This is for my successor. What are you doing? Shut up. Amateurs who know nothing about cooking should just stay out of the way. But it is those amateurs that you cook for. If you look down upon your audience, you will never be able to make good food. What did you say? It is as he says. I cannot entrust this recipe to someone who doesn't possess the heart for cooking. Farewell. I wonder if Chef got away because of you. You're going to pay for it. You want to fight? Yeah, a cooking battle. What? Ah, <laughs> very well. What? I will choose the recipe. Alright, beef stew. Ugh, oh, what the... For Regal's cooking, this has a very... original flavor. Ugh, oh, what is this food? I can't be. I made it the same way I always made it. This demonic flavor, it's... To die, you... Damn you, you poisoned me. I never intended. Damn, I can't compete against something this fearsome. Rain's gonna love it. This is strange. What did I do wrong? <laughs> that was a marvelous battle, Regal Brian. Oh, we came back again. In commemoration with, of your victory in the cooking showdown, I have a gift for Regal. Victory, huh? He won by losing. This is... You can feel the heartbeat of this costume. Become the next Wonder Chef and pursue the path of cooking. Hey, wait. Why was that weird cook after you? He was not after me, but the ultimate recipe that is passed on by my family from one generation to the next. There are they are agents of the Dark Chef Alliance. I guess there's a lot more to this than I thought. In order to save the hearts of cook that have fallen to evil, we of the Wonder Chef family are always looking for a successor. Regal, keep it up. You have the necessary qualities. But I... Hmm? I hear the cries of those suffering at the hands of the Dark Chefs. Farewell! Well, I will take these clothes with gratitude. Yeah, wear that and cook us some good food again. Understood. It's funny, I think Regal actually is a pretty good cook. He just got... sabotaged by rain. It happens. Let's go talk to the uh, the king. That's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.